what I'm going to do now is glaze. It's a very, very use, useful thing to do. Using my liquid and quite a lot of liquid, I will combine one or more transparent colours and I can cover something I've done before. So you can see what's underneath, but it's pushed it back, which gives it another depth. I need a bit more paint. I'm using phthalo green and alizarin crimson, which make a very good dark foliage colour, as long as you use enough of the red. That's it. Now, a lot of liquid, so that you can still see what is underneath. So I'm going to... That's better, because there should be a good shadow underneath there. And I'll have a bit more at the bottom there. And then I'm going to work into that glaze and bring some of the leaves forward again. So I'll rework them which will bring those forward and where I've put the glaze it will push the others back thus giving you a bit more depth making it all a bit more 3D which is what it's all about it's trying to fool people that this two-dimensional board is three-dimensional That's it, that's quite dark under there. That brings the lights out up here. That makes it much better. And up at the top. This bit down here, that's going to be glazed a darker shade as well. And I'll work into that. But it's a good idea not to glaze too much at a time because you really want the glaze to remain wet while you're painting on it. So that will do for now and I'm just going to work into that. And I'll show you that when I've done because all I'm doing is repainting leaves. Right, this is the next layer that I've done. I've glazed and worked into it here. That's with um, transparent colour and liquid. I've done the same a little bit here, quite a bit up here, done another layer on the tree trunk and I've made her nose a lot bigger because I felt it wasn't big enough and it was making the, the eyes to nose disproportionate. And now I'm just going to do the same again, another layer. Bye.